In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to solve a logarithmic equation. We'll talk about it a couple different ways. So here's our equation involves this logarithmic piece. So we have to solve for a variable that's inside a logarithm. All right, so we need to use the inverse of a logarithm, which is an exponential. But before we do that, we want to isolate the logarithmic piece. So to do that, well, first thing we're going to do is subtract 2 off of both sides. Cancel out there. And so we have 3 log of 4x minus 1 equals 3. Now we'll divide both sides by 3. And so we get log of 4x minus 1 equals 1. Now we've isolated the log piece, we want to rewrite this as an exponential. And if there's no base written, it's automatically base 10. So base of 10 is the base of our exponential, so we have 10 to the first equals 4x minus 1. 10 to the first is just 10, so we'll add 1 to both sides. So we get 11 equals 4x, or the x equals 11 over 4. Now because we're dealing with a logarithmic equation, last thing we always want to be in the habit of checking is make sure it's in our domain. There's another video that goes through finding domain of logarithms. The domain of this is that x has to be greater than 1 fourth. 11 fourths is definitely greater than that, so it checks out. Now, another way to think about solving this, when we got to this step right here, log of 4x minus 1 equals 1, the other way you can think about it is making both sides exponents of 10. Because we have a property of logs that says if this base and this base are the same, they essentially cancel and we get left with 4x minus 1. And over here is 10 to the first or 10. And we get to the same place we were before. Now this goes with pretty much a log of any base. So let's say we had a natural log. So 3ln of x minus 1 equals 4 for instance. Well, we want to isolate the log. There's nothing added, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to divide both sides by 3. And we get ln of x minus 1 equals 4 thirds. Now again, whichever way you like of thinking of it, making both sides exponents or just rewriting, doesn't matter. But remember, this is a base of e now, not 10. So e to the 4 thirds equals x minus 1. Add 1 to both sides and you get e to the 4 thirds plus 1 equals x. Now again, this goes for a log of any base. You just got to make sure you're, you keep your, you match your bases up. If we had 2 log base 3 of 2x equals 4, for instance. First step would be divide both sides by 2, and I get log base 3 of 2x equals 2. Now I'm going to rewrite it with a base of 3, or if we want to use that other property, I'm going to make both sides exponents of 3. Essentially those cancel, and I get 2x equals 3 squared, or 9, or that x equals 9 halves. So, those are, the way, those are two different ways we can think of solving a logarithmic equation. The one thing that's always necessary is to isolate the uh, logarithmic piece. And then the next part is just make sure you know what base your log is, because that's going to be the base of your exponential.